You are the criminal, not Nande Kano. Masob blast aside Okubo. Uh, Masob is a movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. So uh, this was the group that has been existing fighting for Biafra before IPOB came in. Okay. So I know that uh, uh, aside Okubo has been talking left, right, and center, insulting Peter B, insulting Labour Party, insulting Igbo people. Insulting everybody, including Nam Dekano, has Side Okubo has been talking without reservation for a very long time, and in the process, he has called uh, Nam Dekano a criminal, and she probably should not be released. He should remain in prison or she should remain in detention. So now Masob uh, has replied to Side Okubo, telling him that he is a criminal and not Nam Dekano. Okay. Already people were asking, were well, asking, what has Igbo people done to Asari Dokubo? Because he has connection to, to government, he can just talk anyhow he wants, say anything anytime he wants to say it, and still go scot free. Because this is somebody that grew into fame through militancy and through criminality. This, this is someone who actually introduced kidnapping in Niger Delta for ransom. That is true. I don't know why military has not been able to bring out his record and play it for him. To him to stop all these things because he started militancy in an in Niger Delta. Right now, he I don't think he has ever to do. He's just making noise. If there's big trouble in Nigeria, I don't think there's anything he will be able to do. He will run to the Nigerian Republic where he has put all his investment. The movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra Masob has lashed out at former militant leader Asai Kubo, describing him as a criminal and an economic saboteur. Masob reacted after the Kubo's call that President Bola Tinubu should not release Nandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO. After a meeting with Tinubu, the Kubo said releasing Kano would be a reward for criminality in the Southeast. Releasing Nandi Kano is rewarding criminality and rewarding gruesome murder of innocent people. He should face the law for the actions and instigations he has carried out, the Kubo said. Concern, now condemning the comment, Masob leader Uche Namado said the call was the ranting of a frustrated criminal. According to Amado, Asai Dokubo should be ashamed of himself for biting the finger that fed him by selling his conscience as an object of cheap sabotage against the collective interests of the Eastern region in order to get relevance from the federal government. He fought against and killed hundreds of military and other security agents. Asai Dokubo is a criminal, not Nam Dekano. How can a man with illegal possession of general purpose machine guns and hundreds of AK-47 call a man without a catapult a criminal? Masob wishes to remind Asai Dokubo how himself and his militant criminal boys destroyed and vandalized petroleum pipelines in the name of self-determination and agitation for a job people. Aside Okubo asking Tinubu not to release Nam Dekano is a direct exposure of the real criminal who should be ignored. Mwazi Nam Dekano is not a criminal or an inconsequential saboteur like the Muslim perpetual slave called Al Haji Dokubo Asari. So they've come on him. If you look at the origin of militancy, the, 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 the Dokubo got his money through militancy, I tell you. Okay? And that is why. He going to Abuja because he's connected to Tinubu to lash out on the military. We will bite him very soon because he, he, if military should come out with a report of all of those things, I'm telling you that they will indict Dokuba himself. How did Dokuba make his money? How? It's not true militancy. It's not true bunkery. Or is it not true violence? How did he make his money? Now he's a chief. He has given, he has given himself a chief nancy title. And now... Government of the day, because it's a government of corruption, has approved the use of uh, classified arms with him. Eh? How can a civilian like this man, a militant, be carrying general proposed machine gun as hundreds of AK-47 and forming militants in the South? What are they doing? So this shows that they are supporting Dokubo to continue to disorganize and cause problems in the South-South. That is what it means. So Dokubo, because of his political alliance and political interest, he is now looking for a way to be used 
to cause more problems in the south side, just like Buhari government has used Fesas Kayamu to cause problems in the whole Nigeria, especially south south and southeast. So it's quite unfortunate that we're in this kind of government. It's going to be it's government of 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 capons, government of 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 different different people we cannot explain. No, it's rather than protecting the interests of Nigeria, they are protecting their own interest. So I don't believe that Asari Dokobo says such. It must be a fake news. Asari is the president of Biafra Customary Republic and would not be on well, would be unhappy if Nam Dekano remains a custody of DSS while criminals are moving about stealing our oil. It's, it's like this person not know what they talk. So you will not be hearing Asari Dokobo on the TV. Okay, oh, let's see. Because you don't know what and what Asai Dokobo has said in his mouth against Igbo people, against IPOB, against Peter B, against Nam Dekano. Eh? Asari is a confused man. That is the truth. He's truly a confused man. Okay. So Asari said all of this. People heard him. He used to post videos, personal videos on, on social media where he, he kept on saying all these things. So, in fact, Asari Dokobo cannot even remember all the things he has said by himself. That is how bad it is for him. There are a lot of things he has said that right now he can't even remember. Okay, the guy talks with left, right, and center, pouring saliva everywhere, not not even minding what he's saying, not even applying wisdom in what he says, and that is why he went to Abuja now because he's close to Tinubu to go and indict the military there. Even though they will know that the military is not innocent in all that is happening in Niger Delta, I think I Dokubo. Uh, might be uh, just a small rat to put double into that complexity because they will use him to clean up very soon. As his end is coming gradually, they will soon clean him up, retrieve all the arms with him. Okay, let you go and ask Tompolo how the military went after him and his village, if not for government that came to his rescue. You understand? So, the same thing they will, they will raid him. I'm, I'm sure the army, the navy, and the air force. They will raid him, and the day they will raid him, he will he will run into the creek with pants. That is what will happen to him. So when a man talks without wisdom, that is exactly what awaits him in front, because he talks he talks without reservation. So thank you for listening, and I serve your comment.